What happens when you take a restaurant robot and deploy that same technology in a different setting, say a hospital or even an auto repair shop? Meet Adam. More than 300 of us are hard at work across the United States. For the last few years, we've been training them to become expert drink makers. So they can act as bartenders, they can act as baristas. So we've deployed them in like some baseball stadiums and a few Walmarts. I'm doing just that. Timothy Tanksley with Rich Tech Robotics says Adam and the robot arm Scorpion are at the Consumer Electronics Show for an entirely different purpose. We're showing that they're not just rink robots. They can really use their AI and robotic abilities to do a numerous amount of tasks, including anything from like lab work or quality assurance, basically anything that needs repeated motion um, and some AI camera analysis. A prime location are hospitals. People spend a lot of their time right now, uh, pharmacy techs specifically, just walking medication up and down floors all the way across hospitals. Imagine these pens are medication. Scorpion is placing it on what was a originally designed as a robot waiter, and it can travel far and wide. That frees up humans so they can connect with patients. So it brought the pen to me. We've actually seen uh, that those pharmacy techs are actually sticking around in hospitals since they're able to work on more meaningful work. He also says their technology is being used in nursing homes. One example that I think of all the time is we deploy a lot of our food delivery robots into senior living care facilities. And so the residents of those facilities during lunchtime, they're able to connect with the servers and kind of have those social conversations. Despite these positive examples, there's still a lot of fear about robots threatening jobs. And this is a real concern. But right now, companies like Rich Tech are focused on how their robots can help empower humans on the job. Timothy says in some cases, these robots can help human workers earn more money. This robot who uh, helps to run different car parts to mechanics so they can stay in their stalls and work on cars, it helps the mechanics because they're able to work on more cars each day, which actually gets them a higher pay rate. So yeah, a bartending robot is impressive and Adam looks so cool doing it, but the real magic is human connection. So that's why you like doing it? It's yes. like you're helping people. Yeah, really, you know, people think of robotics as like taking away human connection. But if the robots are working on kind of like the basic um, tasks that need to be automated to keep the business running, it actually allows people to come together and share more meaningful connections. Subscribe if you want to see more stories like this about how AI can help us help others.